Welcome to our explainer video on the optimum currency area theory. In this video, we will explore the concept of OCA theory, its implications, and its relevance for countries with similar economic conditions and policies. But first, what exactly is OCA theory? OCA theory, or optimum currency area theory, is a significant concept in international economics. It examines which regions would benefit from sharing a single currency. Understanding this theory is crucial for economic students, financial analysts, and policymakers alike. The purpose of this video is to provide a comprehensive overview of OCA theory. We'll discuss its definition, the purpose behind its development, and the key topics surrounding it. By the end of this series, you will have a deeper grasp of how OCA theory applies to real-world economic scenarios. We will start by setting the stage with foundational concepts, then delve into the comparative analysis of different economic conditions and policies. As we progress, we'll analyze the core principles of OCA theory, its benefits and challenges, supplemented by real-world examples like the Eurozone. Now let's embark on this enlightening journey into the optimum currency area theory. As we move forward, you'll see how economic conditions and policies across different regions play a pivotal role in the effectiveness of a shared currency. To understand the optimum currency area theory, we first need to explore the economic conditions and policies of different countries. Similar economic conditions and policies are crucial for the success of a single currency. Let's begin by comparing the varying economic landscapes across nations. Each country operates under different economic conditions, influenced by factors such as legislation and market dynamics. These conditions include inflation rates, productivity levels, and money supply regulations. Economic policies play a pivotal role in this framework. Policies regarding trade, taxes, and monetary control shape the economic environment. When countries share similar economic policies, their economies can align more closely. This alignment is key for the functioning of a single currency system under OCA theory. Similarities in fiscal policies, for instance, help in stabilizing economic fluctuations. The importance of similarity cannot be overstated, as disparities in economic conditions and policies can lead to instability within a currency area. As we move forward, you'll see how these economic conditions and policies interconnect and fit into the broader picture of OCA theory. Now that we've explored the economic conditions and policies that influence the success of a single currency, let's delve into the theory at the heart of this concept, the optimum currency area theory. Proposed by the esteemed economist Robert Mundell, optimum currency area theory suggests that a single currency is most effective for a group of countries displaying similar economic conditions and policies. According to Mundell, these commonalities help minimize the economic disturbances that can arise from using a uniform currency. The theory's origin traces back to the 1960s amid discussions about international currency exchanges and economic stability. Mundell's groundbreaking work laid the foundation for modern currency unions, emphasizing that when countries align their economic policies and conditions, a single currency can offer immense benefits. Key proponents of this theory argue that the alignment reduces transaction costs and promotes price transparency and economic stability within the grouping. As we prepare to dive deeper, keep in mind the vital takeaways of what makes an OCA optimal. Understanding these core principles will enhance your grasp of the subsequent benefits and challenges we'll discuss. Next, we'll uncover the advantages that come with implementing a single currency. Now, let's delve into the benefits of adopting a single currency. One of the most significant advantages is the reduction in transaction costs. When multiple countries use the same currency, there is no need to convert money, which saves both time and expense in international trade. Another key advantage is increased price transparency. With a single currency in play, comparing prices across borders becomes straightforward. This transparency fosters competition, driving prices down and benefiting consumers. Lastly, adopting a single currency can promote economic stability. Member countries can enjoy a more predictable and cohesive monetary environment, reducing the risk of volatile exchange rate fluctuations. This shared stability can help attract investments and spur economic growth. As we move forward, you'll see that while the benefits are compelling, 
adopting a single currency also presents its own set of challenges. However, adopting a single currency also comes with its own set of challenges. One significant drawback is the loss of control over monetary policy. Countries can no longer tailor their interest rates or money supply to meet their unique economic needs. Additionally, economies become more vulnerable to shocks. A downturn in one nation can quickly propagate to others, amplifying the overall impact. Managing divergent economic conditions also presents a formidable challenge. Countries with varying levels of economic development and diverse fiscal policies may struggle to maintain equilibrium within a shared currency system. These difficulties underscore the complexities of shifting to a single currency. As we explore the following case study, you'll see real-world implications of these challenges and how they play out in practice. Let's delve into a practical application of the optimum currency area theory, the Eurozone. The Eurozone represents an ambitious attempt to align under a single currency, the Euro, aiming to leverage the economic stability and integration that OCA theory promises. One of the Eurozone's primary successes has been the facilitation of increased trade among member states. By eliminating currency exchange fluctuations, businesses can operate more predictably and efficiently across borders. This economic integration has also fostered closer political and social ties within Europe. However, the Eurozone has faced significant challenges. The most notable is the Eurozone crisis, which exposed the vulnerabilities of having a single currency without a fully unified fiscal system. Countries with divergent economic conditions struggled to respond effectively, highlighting the difficulties in balancing local economic needs with collective stability. This case study brings the strengths and shortcomings of OCA theory to the forefront. It underscores the importance of aligning economic policies and conditions for a single currency to succeed. As we continue, we'll explore the criteria that define an optimal currency area and how they can guide future economic integrations. To determine whether a group of countries can form an optimal currency area, several critical criteria must be met. First and foremost is high labor mobility. This means workers can move freely across borders, ensuring that labor shortages in one region can be offset by surplus labor in another. Next, capital mobility is essential. This involves the free flow of capital and investments across countries, enabling resources to be allocated where they're needed most efficiently. Finally, fiscal integration plays a crucial role. Countries must coordinate their fiscal policies, managing budgets, and aligning economic goals to prevent destabilizing imbalances. These factors collectively ensure that participating countries can adapt to economic changes smoothly and sustain the benefits of a unified currency. As we delve further, we'll see how these criteria shape the feasibility of a single currency across different regions. Let's recap the pros and cons of adopting a single currency. On one hand, the benefits are quite evident. Reduced transaction costs mean it's cheaper to do business across borders. Economic stability can result from shared currency values, fostering trust and cooperation among member countries. But it's not all rosy. The challenges are significant. Adopting a single currency means losing control over national monetary policies. Countries can no longer adjust interest rates to suit their unique economic needs. Economic shocks can hit harder as countries are tied to each other's fortunes, making it difficult to navigate crises independently. As we've seen, a balanced view is essential for understanding the full impact of a single currency. Each benefit comes with its own set of challenges. As we move forward, you'll see how these concepts play out in real-world scenarios and what the future might hold for optimal currency areas. As economic conditions around the world continue to evolve, the significance of the optimum currency area theory does not wane. In fact, with each shift in the global economic landscape, the potential for new optimal currency areas to emerge becomes increasingly apparent. Policymakers must stay vigilant and consider the profound implications that these emerging OCAs could have. They need to be prepared to adapt and implement strategies that harness the benefits while mitigating potential drawbacks. It's critical to acknowledge that the future of OCA theory holds promise for fostering greater economic cooperation and stability among nations. An evolving set of economic conditions creates both opportunities and challenges. 
urging policymakers and economists alike to think proactively and strategically. By doing so, we can better navigate the complexities of a global economy that is ever-changing and continuously seek out ways to optimize our collective financial futures. The path ahead is rich with possibility, and the future of OCA theory remains a critical component in shaping our economic landscape. In conclusion, the optimum currency area theory provides valuable insights into the benefits and challenges of adopting a single currency. Throughout this video, we've examined how similar economic conditions and policies play a critical role in the success of an OCA. We've seen the pros and cons, considered real-world examples like the Eurozone, and outlined the criteria necessary for such a system to work effectively. Here, we've only scratched the surface of this complex and fascinating topic. We encourage you to delve deeper into the theory and its practical implications. Whether you're an economics student, a financial analyst, or a policymaker, understanding OCA theory can offer a new perspective on global economic strategies. To continue your learning journey, check out our recommended reading list and additional resources linked below. Join the conversation and explore how this theory could shape the future of international monetary policy. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more in-depth economic analyses and explainer videos. Together, let's keep exploring the intricate dynamics of our global economy.